What's up guys, it's Imstubs88, and today we have Chaos Pegatrix. Oh man, looking so sick in that packaging. Alright, let's go over the packaging real quick. You got your normal Bakugan logo. You got the, you know, Battle Brawlers on the side, whatever. You got Drago, because it is a core Bakugan. You got Dan down here at the bottom. You got the two... Baku cores that are available for being seen. So that tells us he's got two fists in there. You can see his card back there. Pretty sweet. I guys, I just gotta say, I really love this new Bakugan Battle Planet uh, packaging. It just looks so slick. Alright, on the back you can see a good picture of Pegatrix all opened up there. You can see his reference card turned around and the two cores he comes with. And then right there you got a list of everything it comes with. Shows how they open. Got the typical Bakugan down here at the bottom, and you got the website and the app, advertisement, all that fun stuff. But you know, I'm pretty sure you all are pretty sick of hearing about all of that every single time, so let's get right into this. All right, boom. Pop him out, sit him over to the side. Throw all this over to the side. All right, let's start with our usual, which is the card. All right, we've got Chaos Pegatrix. He's got 500 B power, he does two damage. In order to use him in your deck, you have to use two, fi uh, two fist cores. And if you land on a fist, you get plus 200 B and plus two power. So that puts, puts him at a whopping 700 B and 4 damage. That's pretty nuts, guys. <laughs> Not even going to lie. All right, let's see what cores he comes with. He comes with a plus 100 B power to, um, and then py uh, to Pyrus and to Chaos, it's plus 3 power. So if he were to land on that, he would go up to 800 and be doing like uh, 7 damage. That's pretty dumb. And then, ooh, that's actually a really nice core there. Plus 150B and plus 1 power. I dig it. Alright guys, here is Pegatrix in ball form. Looking really nice. I love these teal accents on the pure white ball. Like... They really revamped Chaos, and it looks so much better this time around. You can see like his wing feather details there, and it's just, oh my gosh, this looks so good. All right, let's pop him open. Wow. Looking sick, looking sick, oh my gosh. He has zero manual parts. When you get him popped open, you can see more like little wings on the side of his legs. Which looks awesome. His tail fully extends and his wings pop out really, really well. He's got a nice uh, baby blue accent for the horn and for his eyes. Really looks good. And then on the back, you can see his 500 Bs. Awesome looking little, little Pegasus unicorn Bakugan there. Oh my gosh, guys. Can you believe these things? They like, man. And now to close them up, all you do is you... His back legs and his front legs are like together. So you press one down, press the other down, press his tail down, close one wing, close the other wing, and then just close his head. And bam, he's all closed up. Real, real simple. And then just pop him open. Boom. Man. Pretty sick looking Bakugan. I'm not even much of a Chaos fan, but like what they've done with Chaos this time around just looks so good. But yeah, guys, that's been a review for uh, Chaos Pegatrix. Remember, guys, keep calm and brawl on. Thanks for watching. MSubs88 out.